Good to be back. This is a bit of an annual tradition. I come here at least once a year. Typically around this time. The colors are always beautiful. These pine trees just sway and they're just mesmerizing. And there's so many of them and this is one of my favorite cabins to come back to. I'm just gonna chop a few of these so they're a little thinner to get the fire started for tonight. Look what I found. Perfect. I needed just a weekend like this. Peaceful, a little solitude. It's been a while. A little different than whalebone cabin. I've started just bringing propane stoves to cabins so I don't have to cook on the wood stove. It just takes a lot less time and you don't have to burn a lot of wood. This trip was pretty impromptu. Packed everything last night, left really early this morning. I wanted something easy to make for dinner. And I remembered from the trip this past summer, which I'll share an update about at the end of this video, Moonlit Mountain freeze-dried foods reached out and asked that they could send us some of their meals. We ate some on the trip, but we did not try this one. It's a thousand calories in here. So perfect for one serving for one person. I'm curious what type of pasta and how much it's crumbled. Is it still looking like pasta? Or is it going to look like dust? This is already being out at sea for 15 days, so it's not going to be in the best shape. But it is going to taste good, I'll tell you that. Simple ingredients, I love it. Ground beef, ground pork, onions, mushroom, red wine, garlic, diced tomatoes, tomato paste, carrots, zucchini, red pepper, parsley, brown sugar, vinegar, basil, oregano, thyme salt, pepper, bay leaf, and pasta. Oh, that is still solid. Look at this. Can you see that? This 
It's looking pretty solid. Pasta, meat sauce. Yeah, that's pretty good. So smoky. Sunset pretty quick. Can't be seven o'clock. I got the wood stove on in there. It is getting cold. How is there a mosquito in here? Probably not even 9 o'clock, but I have no shame in that. We'll see you guys tomorrow.
there's something comforting about just having a full cup of coffee. Unopened, piping hot, ready to go. There's some things I mess around with, and there's some things I don't mess around with. My morning oats is something I definitely don't mess around with. Okay. Chocolate protein powder, coconut milk powder, dates, cashews, if I have them, dried apples. The best combo out there. I had a relaxing morning on the porch, read my book a bit, listened to the bird sounds, and just took it easy. Getting ready to leave pretty soon, and before I do, I'm gonna chop up some kindling for the next people, and I'm also gonna leave my candles that I brought with me. Sometimes you go to a place and there's no candles and you forgot them, and it sort of sucks. So it's a nice thing to do for the next people. Packed up, ready to go. The wind's picking up a bit. There'll be a bit of a headwind, but there's no big lakes. Should be all right. If you guys follow the channel, you know that this past summer, Rachel and I did a 15 day sea kayak trip from Halifax all the way to Cape Breton. It was an amazing trip. It was like nothing I've ever experienced before. The whole ocean vibe, it's a whole different world. Really excited with how this edit's turning out. I've already started and it looks like I'll be done and ready to post for Christmas time. I know that's still a little far away, but keep an eye out for that. I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it. If you guys aren't subscribers already, please consider subscribing. My uploads are so irregular that it'll help a lot if you're a subscriber and get those notifications on so you don't miss one. Anyways, on that note, guys, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.